Hi. Uh, so Hi. Whenever you're ready, go Hi. ahead and slate your name and outlet. Okay. Yeah. Oh, do I but to the or what? Just to that oh, oh, hi. I'm, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm Jerry Nunn from Windy City Times in Chicago. Mm. Hi, Jerry. Hey, hey. how's everyone doing today? We're good. good. Excellent, excellent. Well, um, start off with kind of bringing the LGBT part of the story to life because it's an mm. LGBT publication. That uh, part. You know, uh, uh, so uh, I would say that one of the things when Bradley signed on, uh, what was extraordinary was, you know, sort of extraordinary because you never want to hear page one rewrite when you're a writer. Um, but typically page one rewrite means they're tossing you and the script and Bradley was kind enough to keep me on board. Um, and the, the, the thing that was singular about his vision from the get-go was he wanted to make this about the marriage, right, and about the need for family. And I, I think actually this, you know, Yanni can, has been speaking to this eloquently, I think that the the, the love that they have would act, was actually fairly modern. There's a letter that Felicia wrote, which we quote in the film, which Bradley and I discovered. She wrote it in 52, 53, right after they were married, and it was sort of, it was a little rocky at first. And she said, I know you're a homosexual and may never change, but let's try to see what things, what happens. If you are free to do as you like, without guilt or confession, please, let's give it a whirl. And it was a really extraordinary way of both securing him in the family and the union and also giving him freedom to yeah. do mm -hmm. what he would like. And, and that sort of approach uh, feels incredibly modern to me. Uh, and, and what's amazing to me is that, is that you know, obviously Lenny had uh, huge appetites, but he also had a huge need for family. Uh, which uh, I think is, again, fairly modern. Yeah. It's modern, and I, um, as a, myself an openly gay conductor, mm -hmm. um, of course we all know, we all worship Lenny, mm -hmm. uh, regardless of, you know, you know, he's an icon of conducting. Mm -hmm. But as an openly gay man myself, mm -hmm. I, uh, of course, I connected with that part of the story uh, with Lenny all my life. But the movie is about showing it to the world and showing how complex this was and showing that in all of it, you know, it comes a lot in the film, the open heart. Mm -hmm. And that is the love for life, the love for people, is love, is true love for Felicia. You know, people tend to always put in small boxes, say, oh, he was gay, so that marriage was just fake. No, it wasn't. It was a true love story. And the commitment from everyone in this film, starting with Bradley, to tell the story as it is, mm -hmm. is I think really uh, helpful and modern, as you say, Josh, but refreshing too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then it felt like, for what I took was the, that he was very, in like a safe space when he was conducting, right? He could be himself. Yeah. There wasn't that kind of judgment. Uh, that's what I saw in it. I don't know if... Oh, absolutely. That's... Absolutely. I mean, it's, it's a safe space and it's fueled by all what he was living in his life. What I found the most interesting is that the family embraced the fact that we wanted to tell the mm, entire story right. from beginning to end, every part of Lenny and his life, and that they were brave enough to go there and allow Josh and Bradley to go there with the script and us to go there with the film. Yeah, very good. Um, was there a lot of cutting room floor stuff? Mm. I mean, did, mm. There must have been because there's a lot of casual <laughs> like conversations and things like that, and I wondered if there was a lot of parts that got maybe... I wouldn't say cutting room floor. Would you? Uh, yeah, I mean, there are, there are some, you know, Bradley is, uh, Bradley, you know, is a wonderful, I mean, look, he's a wonderful writer. <laughs> he's a wonderful actor. He's a wonderful director. He is extraordinary in post. Uh, the way in which he will try everything, right? And he literally, you know, there, just as there were a hundred iterations of the script, you know, there were a hundred iterations <laughs> of the film in post. And so he loves to try, and he's, he's searching for rhythm. And I think there is a, a, a unique rhythm to this film that feels musical. Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. it, it's, it's not only the, the wonderful music of Lenny, but the music of the way the film flows. And so there were things, you know, there's this lovely, great scene, uh, which comes right from Jamie's book about, uh, about, you know, when they ordered lobster and Lenny got sick as Felicia was dying and went to the hospital. And, you know, and we shot it. and. You know, it's hopefully in DVD extras if they yeah. still have such a thing because <laughs> it's beautiful and brilliant, and it just didn't quite fit. Mm. Um, and so uh, there's some stuff, but I think you know what, what's what's extraordinary is that Bradley had such a clear vision of what this was about. This story was about this marriage and this 
modern family, mm -hmm. right, um, if you will. And so in that way, I, I think the, the spine of the, of the movie was always from, 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 the, from the first, you know, new script that we developed together to the final film, I think that spine was always clear. Mm -hmm. Well, it was wonderful. I cried a few times. Oh. So, and because it, it's going to really resonate with LGBT audiences yeah. and, and things. And that, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, thank you guys for everything. It was thank you. amazing. Thanks. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> JPI Cut. <laughs>